Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can get started mining XMR Monero here in 2024 using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Monero that you are out here working to mine in 2024. So before we dive into the tutorial, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, the market cap is down about 2.6% to a total market cap of 3.18 trillion. Um, following, you know, a, a lot of the pattern, of course, is Bitcoin down about 2.2% today. Ethereum down just over 3.3%. Uh, Solana's down. Binance Coin is down. XRP, Dogecoin, Cardano. A lot of these coins are down. Now, of course, we are taking a look today at XMR, Monero. Now, this is a coin that's not really a new player in the crypto space. This used to be a very popular coin, and I believe it still is. Currently ranked at number 48 on CoinMarketCap by the market cap. Priced at $155.52, we find Monero. Now, if we take a look at the all-time high chart, you can see that even though it was priced at $155 today at the time of recording this video, the all-time high is $453. So that's leaving a $300-ish profit if it was just to get back to that all-time high. Now, of course, there's no guarantee that will happen, but the more coins that you get now at this lower price means the more money you will make as the coin goes up in value once we get towards the more uh, middle of the bull run as we kind of start to shift from Bitcoin's bull run to the altcoin season. So how do you go about mining this coin? You may be thinking this coin is not mineable. You can see circulating supply and total supply are the same. That means they have the max supply as infinity, but how do you mine this coin? Well, we are using Unminable. Now, Unminable, if you're not familiar, allows you to mine coins that either are no longer mineable, aren't mineable to begin with, or are mineable but not with a regular GPU or CPU. And the way that they do that is when you are mining XMR Monero, you're not actually mining the coin itself. You're mining a coin that's profitable on an algorithm that's profitable for your computer. And then what Unminable does is they convert over the coins that you earn and pay you out in the coin of your choosing, which in this case, of course, is Monero. So with that being said, the link to Unminable is down below in the description. I highly recommend using that link because it's actually going to save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. But once you're on the site, you're going to go ahead and select Get Started with our wizard. There's two options, basic and advanced. I always recommend basic since that's good for 99% of people looking to mine. Now, I'm going to be following the GPU option, but if you are following along with a Windows-based CPU or you're looking to mine on Mac OS, choose the CPU option. Here's where you'll choose your algorithm. Now, I always recommend going out to whattomine.com to check out your specific setup, see what's best for you, and then go with that. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward with Kapow, which is Ravencoin based, but please double check and make sure you're using the most profitable for your setup. Here's where you choose your coin that you want to get paid out in, which of course is Monero, but feel free to choose whatever you're interested in. Uh, the tutorial is pretty much the same. And then what you're going to do is paste in your Monero address. Now, I do want to make, sh uh, make sure to say, please double and triple check this address, because if this is wrong, everything's still going to work until it comes, comes time to get paid out. When you go to get paid out, you just simply won't get your coins. So I'd hate to see you mining, earn up to that minimum withdrawal, and then not be able to get it. So please double and triple check your address. And the final screen here is the referral code. Now you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated, which is what you'll see if you use that link in the description below. 
If you didn't use that link and still want to get that discount, the code is Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. So here on Unminable, there is a 1% fee for all of the coins that you're mining, whether it's Monero or anything else. Meaning that if you mine 100 Monero coins, which of course you'd probably be pretty happy if you did that, you're going to pay one of those coins to Unminable. Doesn't matter if you did that in a day or in a year, and it doesn't matter if the coin is a dollar or $150 or $450. You're always going to pay that one coin fee. Using this code reduces that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins that you are mining that would have otherwise gone to unminable. So I do always recommend using that, but if you don't want to, feel free to continue without it and pay that higher fee. Now, to get started mining, you'll have to download the miner files and get started. So I always recommend Gminer as it's the one that I personally use and I've had a lot of really good luck with it. Not to say that any of these others are bad, but Gminer is my personal miner that I use and it's the one I recommend. So what you're going to do is go ahead and select download miner files. This will bring you to the GitHub where you select this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, this will not work. So if you run into an issue in just a minute when we go ahead and double click our bat file to get started, you may want to double check that this got extracted. So coming back to Unminable, once you've got that file downloaded and extracted, you'll come back here and select download.bat file. Now you'll notice here that Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this file appears to be unverified we recommend you don't download it. You will have to select this warning and say download unverified file. If you're not comfortable doing that, simply don't do it. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. This is part of mining. It's not an unminable thing. It's not a G minor thing. It's, an, it's a crypto mining thing. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you're okay with that, please go ahead and say download. Then what you're gonna do is take this and drag and drop it into the folder with the minor, minor files that you just extracted. So you can see here I have my unminable XMR Kapow gminer.bat file. At this point, to get started mining, all you have to do is double click this file. Now you'll notice that once again, we have another warning saying Windows has protected your PC. Again, if you're not comfortable with saying run anyway, go ahead and say don't run. But if you wanna continue and start earning, go ahead and say more info and then run anyway. Unfortunately, there is no workaround, but you will only see this pop up the first time you run the miner. So if you're comfortable with that, go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, we are up and running mining XMR Monero using my RTX 3070 on Windows 11. Now we are about 7 minutes and 50 seconds into this video, and that included a little bit of coin market cap. So it is really that simple that in more or less than five minutes, you can get up and running mining Monero with your Windows-based computer. So a few final things I like to call out about Unminable is when you start mining, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for your stats to sync up on the website. So when you come back over here under the addresses tab and paste in that same address you used, if you don't see anything right away, that's completely fine. Give it some time and it should sync up. And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit the red X. Once that CMD window is closed, you are no longer mining. And you may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That's the easy part. Well, with Unminable, for whatever reason, when you stop mining, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments into your on-site balance for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. So I've seen the question of, hey, I've closed this window, but it's still paying me. Isn't mining in the background? You can rest assured that if you have that window closed, you are no longer mining. I don't have a good explanation as to why this happens. I've personally seen it happen 12 hours after stopping a miner where the computer was off and unplugged and I was still getting paid. It's really weird, but I like to mention it. And hey, I wouldn't be too concerned since you're not mining and you're still getting some rewards. So with that being said, that is the video today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you do run into any issues throughout the entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to troubleshoot and help get you up and running. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.